Princeton, New Jersey, April 18, 1955. Albert Einstein, a celebrated physicist considered to be the father of modern physics, dies at the age of 76. While Einstein's wish is to be cremated, Princeton Hospital Chief Pathologist Thomas Harvey must first determine the cause of death. But with the body of Albert Einstein on the autopsy table, Harvey's interest is drawn to something else. He wanted to find out what made Albert Einstein tick. And he sees, wow, there's the source of it all, the brain. There was something about the brain that fascinated him, and with no small amount of effort, he cut the skull, removed the brain, perfused it with formaldehyde. And the next morning, the New York Times says that Thomas Harvey has preserved the brain for scientific study. Thomas Harvey believed that somewhere within Einstein's brain was the secret to his genius. So he persuaded Einstein's son, Hans Albert, to let him do a study of his father's brain. Hans Albert and Einstein's executor came down to speak to Harvey about it, and Harvey impressed upon him just the, the, the uniqueness and criticality of looking at Einstein's brain as a way of approaching how people of intellect and genius think. Harvey took more than a dozen photos of Einstein's brain, dissected it, and shaved off thin slices for microscopic study. But years passed, and Harvey never published any papers or scientific observations. He also never returned the brain, but rather stole it and kept it for himself, with no intention of ever giving it back. Once Thomas Harvey had the brain, he didn't let it out of his sight. He left his position as chief of pathology at Princeton Hospital. And he headed out to the Midwest, and he went into general practice. But the brain was always with him, stored in two large glass jars and in cardboard boxes. There's been a historical trend of examining the brains or the gray matter of geniuses to try and find out what makes them tick. For instance, the Brain Institute in Moscow has kept the brains of dictator Vladimir Lenin and around 200 Russian scientists on a dusty shelf for years, hoping that they may too one day unlock the secrets of genius. But there's a fine line between science and grave robbing. Harvey got a little bit greedier because not only did he swipe Einstein's brain, it was basically a memento for him to have on his shelf. You'd think that the next of kin might have something to say about it. Harvey segued from his job, which is determined the cause of death of a patient at Princeton Hospital. And he did that when he completed the autopsy. And at that point, all we know is that he didn't want to hand it over. And that's why he said, I keep Einstein's brain. I'm the pathologist, and I'm studying it. 